हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एफ क्लास 11 एंड 12 दिस वीडियो इज पार्ट फोर ऑफ यूनिट थ्री फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ जावा प्रोग्रामिंग फॉर क्लास 12 इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी आईटी कोड एट जीरो टू If you want to purchase class 12 IT code 802 sample paper book the links are given in the description In our previous video we have discussed about what is an array its length property and many more concept about array in this video we are going to cover the example of array and coding errors related to array so with this video we will be completing our topic array so let us start first of all let us discuss about example of array we have taken an example from your book in which we have to create an array to print the class report card for the five student means there are five students in a class and we have to prepare the class report card so you can see we have done the coding here the three statements the first three statements are the basic statement that we have been using from the very beginning of java you are very well familiar with them let us start with the main coding part first of all we have defined our array as marks and here we have given marks of five students after it we have declared a new variable which is total marks its data type is double and we have initialized the value as 400 after it there is a new variable which is i its data type is int and we have initialized it as 3 so you can see that we are not only creating an array but also some variables because we want to print the class report card so for this purpose we are using a few other variables other statements also after it we have used the for statement which we have also used in our previous video in a few example also you can notice we have used the length property here because i told you that length property is the size of the array so in place of size of array we can use the length property also after it for the statement for statement we have given these statements double percentage is equal to means here we have declared a new variable which is percentage its data type is double and this is the formula to calculate percentage after it there is again a new variable which is result and its data type is string then we have used the if else statement because we want to print passed or failed so for this we have to use the if else condition the condition is that if percentage is greater than or equal to 40 result is equal to passed means if the percentage is greater than or equal to 40 then it will be printed as passed else if it is less than 40 then what will be printed it will be printed failed after it we have used the system dot out dot print statements because we know that for printing something we use these statements so also you can notice here in the for statement we have used i plus plus why have we used it basically the roll number of the student has to be printed as i plus 1 why because i told you in the array that the position of the array starts from 0 but have you ever heard that roll number starts from 0 no roll number always starts from 1 so that is why we have to print from i plus 1 that is why we have used this i plus plus here so that the roll number can begin from not 0 but from 1 since the array index begins from 0 but roll number begins from 1 so for this purpose we have used i plus plus i plus plus means that the value of i will be incremented by 1 also here we have used these slash t what is the meaning of them let us see 
so why have we used this slash t here basically the use of slash t is to print a tab between the numbers in the print statement so this slash t is indicating the use of tab tab is a space a specified space greater than the space bar means whenever we are using space bar to give a space it is a small space but if we want to give a large space then the space bar so in that case we use the tab key so for printing a tab between the numbers in the print statement we have used slash t so here is the output of our coding you can clearly see what is the use of slash t here specified space is printed between the numbers you can see in between every number there is a specific space also we had used the if else statement so passed failed all these are printed according to the condition when the percentage is greater than or equal to 40 it will print passed and when it is less than 40 it has printed failed also you can see this is the roll number and because we had given it as i plus plus so the roll number has not started from zero but it has started from one because we had given the value as i plus plus which is equal to i plus one that is why the value is starting from zero plus one that is one and these are the marks this is the percentage and this is the result so this is the report card of five students that we have prepared now let us discuss about the common coding errors of arrays in n of y one error the loop index if varied from 0 to n instead of 0 to n minus 1 because sometimes we get confused that the array index goes from 0 to n minus 1 or 0 to n so if we vary the index from 0 to n then in that case we get error how let us see this through an example if the array size is 5 then loop index is equal to 5 is an off by one error since array index can go only from 0 to 4 means that here you can clearly see the specified size of array is 5 and we have already learned that whatever is the size of the array if suppose it is n then the position index will go from 0 to n minus 1 and not from 0 to n but if you give the loop index as 5 so it is an error why because n minus 1 is 4 and not 5 so this will be an error and what type of error it will be off by one error basically the value is greater than by value of 1 so that is why we are calling this error as off by one error here if instead of equal to we had just put the sign of less than then it could be the right coding but we have used it as less than or equal to 5 so here the loop index is 5 which is a coding error because the loop index never goes from 0 to n but it goes from 0 to n minus 1 but for this coding where we have given the loop index as same as the size of the array this will be considered as off by one error so in this case an array index out of bounds error occurs and the program terminates unexpectedly with an error as below because we had committed an error in the program coding what error we had given the wrong loop index what we have given wrong loop index and what was it it was 5 whereas for length 5 we would have given the index as 4 then it would be correct coding but here we have committed the error so because of this error the program will end unexpectedly 
and the output that we were expecting to be displayed it will not be displayed and instead an error will occur what will be the error it will be as is shown here you can clearly see it is written array index out of bounds exception this is the name of the error that has occurred because of the mistake that we have committed while writing our coding and here it is also written index 5 out of bounds for length 5 means when it is length 5 then index 5 will go out of bound means index 4 is n minus 1 for 5 but index 5 it is not is equal to n minus 1 5 is not equal to 5 minus 1 whereas 4 is equal to 5 minus 1 so because of this index 5 out of bounds for length 5 means index 5 is not the correct loop index for the size array 5 and because of this the output is not shown instead it is shown build fail you can recall that in our all other examples the build was successful and our output was displayed but because here we have committed error while our programming so the build has failed if you want to purchase class 12 it code 802 sample paper book the links are given in the description so that was all for today we'll meet you soon in the next video till then bye bye